Um, hello, this demonstration is for the uh, Pickaxe microcontroller operating an H bridge and a DC motor. Um, my homemade Pickaxe module based on the 18M2 chip is back here. This is my H bridge board. Um, uses four power MOSFETs, two P channel, two N channel. This section in here, over in this section out here, that's the only part of it we're using as far as the H bridge. The rest of this circuitry is to something else. And of course, we have a DC motor. I'll focus in for a closer look at the different components. Um, here is the pickaxe control board. Uh, it's relatively simple, of course. Here's the chip in the middle. This is my serial connection to my uh, laptop. And this was designed with push pins to uh, insert in a prototyping board. I have one onboard switch here and another switch over here I'll be using for this demonstration. Here is a close-up view of the H-bridge section. The inputs for the H-bridge, which is forward, reverse, and ground, come in on this connector, and here's your mo four MOSFETs and a few other components, and here is your output. Alright, here's a closer up view of the motor. I made this cardboard disc to uh, make seeing the motor a little bit easier. The way the Arduino is wired, I have three switches, a forward, a reverse, and an auto. In the two manual switches, forward and reverse, I just press the switch. As you can see, the motor will spin, and I can control the speed through the um, potentiometer connected to one of the input pins. And you can sort of really slow it down if you try. Of course, you can go in the other direction by pushing the other switch. Now I'm going to throw it into auto. What the auto, this is pre-programmed, what this is going to do is it will go forward and reverse, pausing and gradually speeding up, and it will cycle through. And as long as the switch is in the auto position, it will cycle through indefinitely. It will pause for three seconds and it will start the cycle again. its cycle and it's finished and it's back into the idle mode. Okay, shown here is the same identical setup, same pickaxe program and all, but I've replaced the MOSFET H bridge with a TA8050 H bridge. The MOSFET one is designed to handle up to four or five amps. This small um, H bridge here can handle about an amp and it can certainly handle this small 12 volt motor. Yeah, and it operates like it did before. You can 
press whatever direction and you can control the speed through a potentiometer. Or you can barely creep it along. You can throw it in the auto mode and it will just cycle through on its own. I'll show a picture of the TA8050 at the end of the demo here. It has a different sensitivity than the uh, MOSFET H-Bridge did and you would have to adjust your values accordingly. I right, said so what this does is it reads a potentiometer through an A to D converter takes the value and then sets the value on a pulse width modulator. The, this particular pickaxe has two pulse width modulators um, as where the Arduino would ha has six. To be uh, very frank about this, uh, the pickaxe is okay to learn on if you don't know anything, but this is a lot easier to do with an Arduino. Like I said, thanks for looking at the video. Um, I just thought I'd put something up there on pickaxe. And I'll show the uh, diagram to the TA8050 and the H-Bridge itself. Both of which are up on my website, www.bristolwatch.com. You'll find the information on both pieces. Thanks for uh, listening. Alright, pictured here is the TA8050 pinout. Relatively simple device. will work up to about 24 volts. Here's a schematic of my H-Bridge. Unfortunately, it's going to be a little hard to see in this, but you can see it on my website. Thanks for viewing the video.